hello everyone today in this video i will be telling you some concepts regarding viva which you must know before going to the uh, before appearing for viva okay so the uh, viva is divided into two parts first one the questions can be asked from general part like the theory part or the practical parts which are the lab programs okay this uh, is a very lengthy topic you, you have to know the theory very well the theoretical topic uh, topics like mlog clog dynamic memory and such types that you have to know very well let's talk about the program first you have an array okay you need to know what is an array an array is a space allocated which uh, can be having uh, many spaces to insert many elements that's known as an array and if the examiner ask you uh, what, how to delete an element from an array suppose this is an array if you have to delete this two element okay then what you will do you'll just shift three here and shift four here okay and you'll consider the array from here so the array will be one three and four right so this is the way to delete an element and then uh, if you have to insert an element you will just shift the all the elements here suppose this is the array okay one two three if you have to insert any element like four here okay what you'll do you'll shift three here first then you'll shift two here and insert four here how the array will look you have to explain it in this way then it will be more than sufficient for you okay this is the insertion for uh, for an array the second one is strings in strings it's a uh, array of characters like a b c d okay this is a string okay and it always ends with a null character then uh, if you have to the program is about searching a pattern suppose i have to search bc inside this array okay so what i will do i'll search the first element and compare with this if it matches then i'll uh, compare the next element but it doesn't match so what i will do i'll just compare the next element and then i'll move on uh, with the next element in that way i will uh, search the elements here okay and uh, coming to the third program which is stack what is a stack see this is a normal array right we had this array and uh, a stack is nothing but uh, array in which you can access uh, not all the elements only the top element okay means if this is an array okay see in this is uh, if this is an array you can just access this element and if you want to access to first you have to output this then this then this okay that's the difference between a stack and an array now uh, after knowing that you have to know what is leafo leafo means last in first out see in stack you'll have many elements here and uh, last in means this is the element which you inserted last that will be the one to get the output first that is leafo in queue you will have fifo means uh, see this is a queue and you'll have a front pointer here and a rear pointer here okay what does a front pointer do this is a front pointer and this is a rear pointer if you have to insert any element you will insert from this one you will shift this arrow mark here and then you will insert an element here yeah, for deleting an element you will shift this pointer here and you will just consider the array from here okay see uh, if this is an array here and in q what you will do if the front is here and the rear is here you have inserted an element from here suppose that uh, you have many more elements here and you will insert the elements here and keep on deleting when you delete this you will shift it here again you will delete this and you'll shift it here then see what happens the first element which you inserted that will be output first then this will be outputted then this will be outputted okay and uh, you need to know two concepts which is overflow and underflow if there is an empty stack and you are trying to delete any element that means it's an underflow condition and overflow means it's full but you are trying to insert an element that is applicable for uh, queues as well as for stack then in queues you will have uh, insert and uh, delete that i already discussed if you have to delete any element you have to just increment the front and you have to uh, if you have to insert any element you will just increment the rear and insert the element in stack you will have the same operations as push and pop what is push and what is pop in push you will insert an element see if the stack is pointing to here if you have to insert an element you will increment this and bring it here and then you will insert an element that is push in pop what will happen if you have this element here if you want to if you want to pop it what you will do you will delete it pop means deleting you will just bring this pointer here and you will consider the stack from here that is known as pop see infix means uh, the operator will be between both of the operands okay that is known as infix uh, expression in postfix what you will have you will have the operator at last the operand will be in first that is postfix uh, expression evaluation of a postfix expression suppose uh, this is the expression given which is in postfix form and you have to evaluate this okay now what you will do you will take the two operands first okay one and two you will uh, write one and two then you will take the operator whenever operand whenever operator occurs you will take the operator and insert between both of this and then you will evaluate the answer okay in tower of hanoi you need to remember one thing there is a source and temp and destination if you have to uh, see in tower of hanoi you will have three disks here okay three or four disks and what your uh, what your uh, what your task is your task is to shift all of this disk to the uh, other location 
suppose that this is the source and this is the destination you have to shift all of this here now uh, one can say that um, we can take all of this disk and keep it here in uh, in this way but that's not possible the rule is uh, what you have to do you just have to take one at a time and you have to place it any in any of these the second rule is you can't place a bigger uh, disk on top of a smaller disk suppose that i place this uh, i place this disk here and then i can't place this above this okay that's invalid so what i have to do uh, the other option is i can place it here right i can place it here and then i can place it uh, on the top of this in that way how many moves are being used in shifting this whole set of disk to the other destination is uh, what is the output of the program then uh, you need to know about circular queue queue you know right queue is the um, set of elements arranged in this form and this is a circular queue in circular queue you uh, have the end of this queue and the uh, starting part of this queue joint okay this is a circular queue and you will have all the same operations overflow and uh, underflow and uh, what is a front rear everything will be same just the uh, way to calculate front end rail will differ by a uh, in the equation okay the code which you use then uh, the next is linked list see linked list uh, linked list is uh, pretty obvious by its name linked list means there is a list which is linked to each other okay suppose that uh, these are the boxes which are linked to each other now you, i wanted to know about the info part and the link part in info part you will have the data which is to be stored and the link part will have the address of this okay address of the next uh, list means uh, next node okay and this will have the same thing here as well in the last one here you will have null okay because it's not pointing to any more nodes this is known as a node and uh, i wanted to know about uh, what is use of linked list see uh, we we could use a stack here okay to store the elements but in stack suppose these elements are stored one one to five elements are stored okay now if you have to insert any element here okay suppose i have to insert 10 here then how will i do it i'll uh, first shift 5 here then i'll shift 4 here then i'll shift 3 then i will insert 10 in this place right but in linked list you can uh, do it in a very simple way now if i have to insert that uh, 10 how will i insert i'll just make this uh, point to this and this point to this in two steps you can uh, make this 10 and come in between this there's a function in the lab program which is a uh, representation of a stack using a linked list okay so how will i represent uh, a stack using a linked list see this is a stack here and you have the elements here one two three four and five okay so these are the elements here and uh, you will have a linked list for this in this way in this way you will have a linked list which will have the first element here second element here third element here okay so in this way you will represent a um, stack using a linked list and if you want to insert a new element you will insert from here and if you want to delete you will delete from this end only okay you can't use other ends now next uh, there is a uh, dq also in the uh, eighth lab program you will have this dq what does a dq do means doubly ended q okay see in doubly ended q uh, you will have these elements here in a q you can insert or delete from both the ends okay and uh, by using a linked list you can uh, do the same thing from uh, here as well okay then uh, you need to know about pointers now suppose i want to access this content what i will do i will first access this uh, address this address will be stored in another variable that is known as a pointer to access this content i will use this address to reach this content and then i will use this content another thing is null pointer null pointer means there is a pointer here and it does not point to any location that is known as a null pointer the ninth lab program is about polynomials see uh, suppose that this is a polynomial term you have you have three terms here now you have to represent this using a linked list in linked list uh, as you know there will be boxes connected right so you will store each of this term in this boxes okay now how will you do that consider a box here okay and you have to store the um, polynomial 1x square y square okay uh, for instance what you will do first you will create a column here and store the coefficient which is 1 then you will store the uh, exponent of x then exponent of y then exponent of z then this will be pointing to the next terms uh, memory location this will also have suppose it is uh, 2x okay so here you will have 2 then you will have 1 because x power is 1 and 0 0 and this will be pointing to the next location in this way you will store the polynomials in case you have to evaluate the polynomial uh, given the value of x and y suppose that x is 2 y is 1 okay so what will be the answer 1 into 2 square which is 4 
into 1 okay which is 4 so how you will calculate that you will uh, take this 1 into 1 from here then it is square right so what you will do uh, 2 raised to what uh, what is this number that one plus um, 1 raised to 2 see here into 1 raised to 2 this is y right y has the value 1 so power is 2 so 1 raised to 2 uh, in this way you will evaluate the polynomial then you will add it with the next term doing the same for this term as well then uh, you need to know about how to uh, uh, add those two polynomials suppose the two polynomials given are 1x square plus um, 2xy and uh, 3x square okay suppose that these polynomials are given first what you will do you will uh, make this uh, linked list here see here it will be 1 2 0 0 and uh, this will be as see in this way it will be written in a linked list now what you have to do you have to just compare the uh, exponents here see exponent is 2 0 0 compare it with this it is not same in this it is same right 2 0 0 that means the exponents are same if you have to add you will just add the coefficients here 3 plus 1 so you will add both of these coefficients and store in another node so uh, 3 and 1 will be added and 4 will be written here and this exponents will be same here which is 2 0 0 all right and this will be the same because it had no more uh, similar exponent terms so this will be the same here 2 1 1 0 okay so in this way you will add the polynomial next thing i wanted to know about tree what's a uh, tree basically this will be the circles which are connected in this way only in the down, uh, downward direction okay that's known as a tree and uh, it can have uh, as many circles as it wants okay now see here this is known as a root node okay from the uh, from here the traversal will start what's a traversal traversal means you have to travel each of these nodes so in what way you will travel there are three ways first one is in order and then pre-order and post order okay for this you have to remember three things LNR, NLR and LRN what are these if you have to travel this uh, tree what you will do you will use if you have to travel using in order traversal you will use LNR LNR means first you will travel to the left node then again uh, then again LNR you will travel to the left until no more left is there then you will print the node this node will be printed means this has some values here okay so that uh, node will be printed after printing you will go to the right if there is no right you will go back and do the same thing in the same way pre-order and post-order are also traveled the program is about binary search tree binary search tree what is binary search tree if the examiner asks you about binary search tree you have to explain it uh, in this way see uh, this is a tree here suppose you have the elements 1 4 6 8 okay suppose these four elements are there now uh, the root node is 4 okay then uh, you can take any of those nodes as the root node now next the element starts from here 1 if it is smaller than this root node you will place in the left and if it is greater than the root node you will place in the right then again you will check for 8 8 is greater than 4 as well as greater than 6 so you will place it in the right of 6 which is uh, here okay so in this way many elements will be there you will place all of these elements here suppose you want to search an element i want to search like uh, suppose that 2 is here and uh, 3 is also here okay now suppose i want to search for 2 okay what i will do i'll check with 4 if it is less than 4 i'll come here and check with 1 if it is less or greater than 1 i'll check it here if i get here it's okay otherwise i'll move on until i reach the end of the list if i didn't get till the end it means that uh, element is not there in the list okay under the lab program of dfs and bfs what you can expect is um, they can ask you what is a graph a graph is nothing but uh, circles connected just like tree okay but it can have the upward uh, direction also here it's not necessary that it should have the downward uh, downward direction only okay so this is the graph and you need to know what is vertex and edges this is known as vertex the circles uh, which you can see here are vertex and these are the edges okay edges will point to the uh, circles in the graph and this whole thing is a graph okay now uh, what is an adjacency matrix you need to know see suppose that uh, this is a graph here this is the graph here okay three nodes are there and these three are uh, having edges now how will i make adjacency matrix i'll write the nodes in this uh, as columns here one two and three now uh, see here from one to one is there any um, means is there any edge like this no it's not there right so i'll uh, mark as zero if there is an edge see 1 to 2 has an edge here so this will be 1 here 1 to 3 also has an edge okay so i will write 1 here similarly i will fill the rest of the things note here that 1 to 2 has an edge here but 2 to 1 doesn't have an edge here okay so uh, it will be a 0 here you should see the arrows here okay 
similarly for the graph uh, as we had seen for the tree there is a traversal technique which is uh, dfs and bfs let's see one by one what it is suppose this is the graph given and uh, you have to traverse using dfs and bfs what is dfs dfs means depth first search means you will start from here okay and you will uh, print out the node then you will go to the second node and you will print out then you will go to the third node you will print out then you can go either here or either here so you will go either of this uh, similarly you will go to the 4 and you will print it then you will go to uh, see after 4 there is no connection so you will go back to 3 and then you will go for uh, 5 and print in this way if you print that is known as dfs in bfs what's the thing in uh, if you start from 3 here first you will go to 5 okay then uh, you will go to 4 see it will uh, see suppose that uh, there is a uh, there is a sixth node here also okay first you will not go the sixth node as in the depth first search if you had used uh, depth first search you will go to uh, if you start from 3 you will go to 5 then you will go to 6 and you will print it but in uh, breadth first search what you will do you will go to 5 and then again you will come back to 3 you will go to 4 then again come back to 3 okay then after that uh, you have finished all of this then what you will do you will go to 6 here then uh, you will uh, explore its neighbors the neighbors of this is 6 here so you will go and print 6 here okay then uh, you will come back to 5 okay now uh, you have already traversed 6 also you will come back to 3 again and you will go to 4 and you have uh, nothing uh, left for 4 you will come back again to 3 then you will come back to 2 and you will print it and then you will go back to 1 and print it okay because 2 has no more neighbors and 1 has no more neighbors so in uh, basically what's the difference is in depth first search you will uh, keep on moving in one direction but in breadth first search uh, you will visit all the neighbors first and then you will uh, visit the neighbors of the neighbors then okay that's the difference between BFS and DFS. Coming to the last program which is hashing. In hashing you can expect many viva questions because many theoretical concepts are there. Okay, uh, Let's clear all of those in this video now. See here. First of all what is hashing? Suppose uh, you had a lot of data here okay, and you have a small data here. Now you will have uh, IDs of many people here. So what you are doing you are representing this uh, large data uh, large data into a smaller data okay that's known as hashing in hashing you have some terms like hash table hash function hash key and all let's see one by one what it is hash table see hash table is this the table uh, means an array in which you store the um, hash values okay that's known as the hashing okay means id is what you store inside that uh, array that's known as hash table and hash function what is hash function hash function means the see this has a location right what does a hash function do suppose there is an element 123 okay you have to calculate the location in which 123 should be stored so that uh, function which calculates it suppose the uh, suppose a function is like uh, 123 percentage 10 okay so this can be a hash function percentage 10 so uh, when you get this answer you will get as 3 right so it will be stored in the third location that function is known as hash function then hash key hash key is 123 and hash value is the number which you get at last which is 3 okay and uh, why do we need hashing see if you have to store a large data in a, a smaller uh, space then you will use hashing and uh, what is a collision suppose that i have to store another number also like 223 i'll use the same hash function i'll get as 3 here then I can't store both the numbers at the same place. This is known as collision. In that, uh, what you will do is you will check the next location. If it is empty, you will store it here. That uh, resolving that collision in this way, it's known as linear probing. Now, suppose uh, you want to know about the general concepts, uh, means the general viva questions. Those are uh, present at the end of the lab manual. You can refer to that and uh, read the theoretical uh, concepts mostly from uh, module 1 and uh, module 2 okay these both have a lot of theoretical concepts and uh, you could expect the questions mostly from that okay